Dr. Ignaz Semmelweis. In the 19th century, hospitals weren't as clean and sterilized as they are now. Hungarian physician and scientist Dr. Ignaz Semmelweis wondered if there was a connection between cadaverous particles and childbed fever. While practicing medicine at Vienna General Hospital in Germany, Dr. Semmelweis noticed fellow doctors who had just performed autopsies walking directly over to the hospital's maternity ward to deliver babies. He instituted a policy of using a solution of chlorinated lime for washing hands between autopsy work and the examination of patients and delivery of babies. The result was a drastic dip in the mortality rate of newborn babies. But the medical community felt like Semmelweis was blaming dirty doctors for some of their patients' deaths. He was eventually fired from his job and ostracized by the medical community. Semmelweis fell on hard times, turned to alcohol, and suffered from depression. In 1865, he was sent to a mental institution against his will. While there, he demanded to be released. He wasn't crazy. Workers instead put him in a straitjacket and beat him. As a result of the beating, Semmelweis got a blood infection and a few weeks later died. Twenty years after his death, a man named Louis Pasteur came along and confirmed Semmelweis's theories. After that, doctors started washing their hands much more frequently. Dr. Semmelweis has left behind a wonderful legacy. The Semmelweis reflex is a metaphor for the tendency to reject new evidence or new knowledge because it contradicts established norms, beliefs, or paradigms. Thank you for listening. Make sure to check out the latest episode of the Curator 135 podcast.